V-Ray 2 sided material is one of my favorite materials that I use to create my curtains. Now, what is special about this material is that it can transmit light. So, it actually can have one side that you will see texture, but from the other side, light will come through because there was nothing that will block it. So, actually, it's like two sided materials, but we have only one side that actually is seen, and the other side lets the light go through. All right, so uh, let, let us check this material out. And as you see here, uh, this is the material we can, uh, we can as easily edit. Uh, we have it here, um, V-Ray 2-sided MTL. This is the material. And by double clicking, you'll be able to um, edit to your map. So um, let's go back to my material. In front, I have a simple, pretty much regular uh, V-Ray material with uh, a little bit of high glossiness and this one actually doesn't really work. I was, I was, uh, previously I was adding a little bit of reflection but it didn't work well so I reduced it. But the high glossiness and reflection glossiness stay. So this one basically can be one and one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what matter is that uh, your two-sided material will have some base uh, V-Ray material in it. Um, this way it will work really nice. And um, the amount of transluency, how much light uh, does uh, this material lets in, is being is being controlled by this uh, particular parameter here. Uh, so white means a lot of color, black means no color at all. So um, it actually works on the opposite way from the. Um, from the transluency, but um, this material, if it's if it's white like this, like mine here, it was almost almost pure white. That means it's going to let a lot of light through, and uh, my image will be uh, almost uh, light and almost like there is no curtains. So uh, if you want to make it pure white, you just make it two five five five, and it will let. 100% light in, it will still be there. It's almost like excluding it from the lights, from the V-Ray Sun or, or if you have an HDRI map or something like that. It's almost like that. It's almost like having an exclude. It's not being uh, reflected or blocking. In my in my case, it's block. It, it was something like that. So it was blocking just a little bit, but uh, most of the light went through. Um, so yeah, this is regarding this material. Let me show you just some few examples. If you go here, they have a really nice manual. It's called spot3d.com. This is the official V-Ray manual. You're probably not familiar with this one. But if you go to V-Ray two-sided material parameters, you have here more explanation about this unique material. And when you click on examples, you'll be able to see what actually can be done with this uh, really cool material. So as you see here, different lights light objects and as you see here how the transluency work uh, transluency 0 0.0, 0 0.2, 0.5 this is a different examples of it uh, here you go you have a curtain here so you can get uh, really nice slim curtains and you have a you can have a paper lamp or you can have a really nice texture lamps and you can also do leaves as you see here those leaves they have really nice reflection this is what I was actually aiming for bef uh, at the beginning um, but then I remove that option and as you see here when the light uh, uh, The light under those leaves it actually can shine through the leaves. So you get something similar to SSS um, Subscattering surface However, this light does not include inside. It's not full. It's just one flat uh, One flat surface and it's cool for the leaves uh, for uh, you see those lamps for different uh, paper lamps and curtains. Um, for other styles that is full, uh, of course, you probably want to use uh, V-Ray uh, SSS material. All right, so uh, this one, as far as goes uh, to this uh, really nice and unique materials, uh, uh, you, can, you can use it in your visualizations. If you wanna have really nice soft look to your images, you can, of course, uh, have those uh, two-sided curtains that will block the light and give really nice soft shadows to your image. All right, so um, go ahead, try it. If you have any questions, put them below this video or in the forum, and I'll be more than glad to answer them. And go ahead and check out the next videos.